You saw the last video on the one transistor CW transmitter. Now is the hard bit, getting contacts. It's 4.30 p.m. on a Friday, and it's about an hour or so before dark. Being fixed frequency, that means I've just got to hope the frequency is clear. I call CQ and people come back to me. Apart from the transmitter itself, I've got the low pass filter in line and an antenna switch. That switches between transmit and receive. As the receiver, I'm using the FT817. I'll keep calling CQ until I get a contact. Today's a good day, as Sprat has just arrived, so I've got plenty of reading material between replies. Given the amount of current, i better get some sandpaper out and clean the key contacts. I should mention I'm not using proper key contacts, just nuts, bolts and a printed circuit board, which I've plated with solder. That's made it much better. Also, you can wipe some paper through the key contacts. A Sprat address label is perfect for that. That was a contact with John VK2BHO. It was very short and the instability probably didn't help, especially if he was going to use a narrow CW filter. One thing I didn't mention in the previous video was the setting of the beehive trimmer wasn't that critical. If you don't have one, then you could just try some different disc ceramic capacitors. Try 5 picofarad, 10 picofarad, 15 picofarad or even two pieces of twisted insulated wire for lower capacitances.